Okay, this video is about section 11-4 on the volumes of prisms and cylinders. Okay, um, the formula for the volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height. Now again, capital B is always the area of the base. Okay, the area of the base times the height will give you the volume of a prism. Okay, so one example, um, uh, the base in a rectangular um, prism can be any side, because any side has a parallel and congruent side. Usually the thinking about the bottom is the simplest um, way to go about it. So the volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. Now the area of the base is 24 times 20, or 480, times the height is 10 and 4,800 um, centimeters cubed is my volume. Okay, now um, our units are now centimeters cubed, and what that means is how many one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter cube fills up this entire, um, this rectangular prism. Okay, in this case it happens to be 4,800 uh, of those cubic centimeters will fill up that space exactly. Okay, um, number two, um, just to do it real quick, again, the base has an area of 15 um, square feet times the height of four, and you get 60 um, cubic feet. How many one foot by one foot by one foot cubes would fit inside of that rectangular prism? Okay, um, let me back up. Now, although it's true that you can take um, the three dimensions and multiply them together and get the volume of a rectangular prism, um, in fact, you may have seen length times width times height, um, the formula V equals BH will work for any prism, not just rectangular prism. So I'll use that one instead. Okay. For example, these triangular prisms, um, the bases are these triangles. Okay. The volume is still the area of the base times the height. But um, finding the area of the base isn't as simple as it was for the rectangular prism. Okay, So I will redraw the base, as I think it's frequently nice to do, is to redraw the base um, if it's ever complicated. Okay, And it's 8, 8, and 8. To find the area of this base, I need to know the height. Okay, But luckily, this right triangle is a special right triangle. It's a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And so this part is 4, and so the height um, of my triangle is 4 root 3. If you know your right triangle, uh, special right triangle ratios, if not, you can use the Pythagorean theorem or um, some trigonometry to find what that height is. But it's 4 root 3. Okay, so the base, the area of the base, since it's a triangle, is one half the base of the triangle, which is eight. This length right here is eight, um, times the height of four root three. Okay, and you're multiplying that times the height of the pyramid. Ten. Um, let me back up real quick. Let me kind of not do it all together at the same time. That might be a little less confusing. Um, let me focus on just finding the area of this period, of this triangle. The area is one half um, bh. Now it's the base of the triangle is eight, and the height of this triangle is four root three. And so the area of this triangle is twenty-seven point seven one. Okay, so the volume is the area of the base times the height. Um, it's 27.71 times the height of the prism. Now, the height of the prism is the, the perpendicular distance in between them. So it's times 10. And I get um, 277.13 um, inches cubed. Okay, I'm sorry that there's a base of the the base and there's a height of both the base and a height of the um, prism. It's just kind of the way it is for these. So try to keep it clear what you're dealing with.
Okay, um, number four I'll also do, um, but again, the volume is still equal to the area of the base times the height, and the area of the base, since it's a triangle, is one half of the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle, and I get 30 as the um, area of my base. Okay, times the height. Now I know it's really tempting to use 10 as the height, but um, it's the perpendicular distance in between the two triangles, and so it's 5. So the, the volume of this triangular prism is 150 cubic meters. Okay, the volume of a cylinder, again, it's still the area of the base times the height. The area of the base now is just pi r squared since it's a circle. So the formula is pi r squared times h. Okay, the volume of this cylinder in terms of pi, and the volume is pi r squared h. So the radius is 3, and the height is 8. Okay, now leaving it in terms of pi, I would just forget about the pi, um, and it will be 72 pi centimeter cubed. Okay, luckily for us, an oblique um, cylinder will have the same volume as a right cylinder, and so the volume will still be um, pi r squared h, where the radius is 1, and the height is 3, and so 3 pi um, meters cubed is the volume of this oblique cylinder. Okay, uh, find the volume of this composite um, solid. Now, a composite solid means it's made up of more than one solid. So this is made up of, this one happen, happens to be made up of more than one rectangular um, prism. And what you do is you just chop it up into pieces that you know how to work with. So I will chop this up into two rectangular um, prisms and find the area of volume of each prism and then add them together. So I will start off with this bottom piece and the volume of the bottom piece is area of the base times the height. The area of the base is 6 times 8 or 48 times the height is 2 or I get 96 um, cubic centimeters. Okay, that's this bottom piece. Um, the top piece, um, its volume is again the area of the base times the height, but the base is, let's see here, 2 times 8 is 16, and the height is 3, or the, the volume of this top piece is 48 um, cubic centimeters. So adding these two pieces together, I get 144 cubic centimeters. Okay, so if ever you're given a, a composite solid made up of, of more than one piece, um, just find the volume of each piece and add them all together. Okay, this video is about finding um, the volume of prisms and cylinders, and I hope that after watching this video you're more able to do that.